Now this is April the 9th. It's amazing how these cold frame tomatoes that were planted have grown to this height in this short period of time. Now I see they have peppers over here. Now this is what they did with them. Got a great irrigation system, a drip irrigation system going here. This is fantastic. So you don't have to make yourself a slave to getting out here watering your plants. This is just wonderful. I love it. I just love it. Drip irrigation. The, wa the plants are being watered as we speak. Can you see that water dripping there? Look at that. Only as much as they need. Look at that. Now these are the tomatoes that came out of this cold frame here. And this is the other irrigation system that they have going. It's amazing how they grew so tall, so healthy and so beautiful and so large already. Right after the spring solstice, they have already planted these tomatoes. Just look at what's going on in the greenhouse. Look at the sunflower plants. Some of them look about three feet tall already. And I've seen where they had pinched them off at the top, right there, so they can even make more sunflowers. And look at the centinella. I sure hope they're able to keep the mosquitoes away this year. We're gonna have a lot of mosquitoes Anytime the temperatures don't drop, and they didn't drop very much this winter, we know we're going to have a lot of insects. Now, they really, really got it going on here today. I just love it. I'm in gardening paradise. Gardening heaven. Everything is just growing beautiful. Look at the peppers. No, that's not peppers. That's basil. It's beautiful. But those are peppers there. And that beautiful rich soil. Paradise. They know what they're doing. Bobby and Anthony, they work this. They work this. Beautiful. Container gardening. You don't need a lot of land to do some container gardening. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Tomatoes and everything growing down in there. No telling what all. I see some herbs, all kind of herbs down in there. This is wonderful. It's beautiful. The beets and the bok chow and the Swiss chard all growing here beautiful together. planted out here. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it, I know one thing. It's all good. It's all good. Whatever it is. And it's organically grown. You can count on that. Now, I saw those big, beautiful beets they pulled up out of the soil last week. And here's some more. In with 
the Swiss chard and the bok chow. So you remember when the truck driver delivered those two big truckloads of College Park City compost? That pile was as tall as me. Look at it now. <laughs> Look at it now, but it's beautiful. It's so rich and beautiful. Well, the muscadines are gonna be great this year. I can just look at the vines and tell. Now this looks like a herb garden here. Now this sign says, let's see if we can read this. If I can get the camera in on that. That says Italian parsley. Can you see that? This sign says sweet basil. This sign says basil. Lettuce leaf. Lettuce leaf basil. More lettuce leaf. This is deal. Mammoth deal. These are chives. Now this is really a good thing when you mark, make some type of marking on what you're growing. Because I'll tell you, sometimes you put these seeds in the ground and when they come up you say, now what is this? I don't remember what I put here. Well, the best thing to do is to mark it down. Always have to make the bees and all the insects happy and welcome in your garden if you want to be a successful gardener. You just can't plant vegetables and fruit. You have to plant some flowers to, to attract the bees. Now don't think that there's no method to what's going on out here. We can't see this very well. Well, maybe we can. But there is definitely a method to the madness. Oh yes, there is a method to this gardening madness. Oh yeah. I think Anthony will tell us all about this side. Okay, okay, all right, it's just the start. You have to start somewhere every year. You start all over again. This is my start this year. Yeah, I give thanks, I give thanks. For this little bit of land, I'm telling all the banksters, all the mortgage companies, free the land, free the land. I'm a farmer. I can feed the multitude. Just give me the land, free the land. Right now, this is what I'm working with, thanks to Bobby Wilson and his urban gardening program. He freed up this land for us. We all have a little piece of land here. So come on, Doc Banksters, free the land. There's enough land in Georgia to feed the multitude. There shouldn't be any hungry people in the United States of America. All this land, the land that has been foreclosed on, for the land that has been taken back for taxes. Free the land. Free the land. We can feed ourselves. We don't need that EBT program. We can grow organic food ourselves. 
We don't have to get canned goods and frozen goods, foods left over from the grocery stores that they can't sell, they don't want to sell. It's, it's dead. It's dilapidated. No nutrient in it. Free the land. We can grow this food ourselves. We can grow for our Sells. We don't need to be dependent on you. Free the land. There's plenty of land. Free the land. Uh -huh.